What is going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. In this real quick video, I'm gonna tell y'all everything I know about the water hookups after hundreds of camping trips. Now, with that being said, let's get after it. All right guys, here's a quick tip for those of you who are new to RVing and would like to know a little bit more about the water hookup. When you're hooking up the water, make sure you have a filter, obviously, because a lot of these campgrounds are connected to well water. Right, so you want to make sure you're getting clean water for cooking or drinking purposes. Make sure you get a 90 degree elbow so everything can flow nicely. You don't have any blockages or slowing of water pressure. And make sure that the water hose that you're using is exclusively used for the fresh water, okay? Do not mix it with the water hose that you would use to flush your tank, for instance. That needs to be a totally separate water hose. I like to use this uh, expandable stretchy one because it's lightweight and it's easy to store since I have very little space in my little storage compartment here. So I use a little pocket hose that really scrunches up real nicely. Another tip is to actually run your water hose for a little while and make sure that you have clean water Get some clean water flowing. Make sure the water's clean because sometimes when the site has been sitting with nobody there, you know, dirt can build up in the lines or has been sitting a while in the lines. So you wanna make sure that you clean that out. And lastly, make sure you have a water regulator because not all campgrounds are created equal with the water pressure. You know, all cities have different pressure settings. Some campgrounds have, have wells with different pressure settings, right? This one ranges from 40 to 50 PSI, which won't hurt your RV plumbing. So it's within specs to protect your plumbing, your PVC or your whatever plumbing you might have in your rig. All right, I hope that was helpful.